Hey everybody, Denny here again. Today we'll be doing another Source Filmmaker tutorial. Um, this video is going to be focusing on fixing unpaintable items due to faulty textures. So here we have the out of sight from the gunmetal cosmetic case. As you can see, normally the hat's actually supposed to be orange, this little band around here. Unfortunately, it's black. This is due to a um, error in the item's texture. Source Tillmaker runs on an old version of TF2, which is why it doesn't handle things exactly the way the game does. Fortunately, it's pretty simple to fix this. So what you're going to need is obviously Source Tillmaker and a hat that needs to be fixed, but you're also going to need GIMP with the VTF plugin. That's also going to be available in the description. So, alright, let's, let's get it cracking. So, first off, all we want to do is find out exactly what material we need to fix. In this case, we're going to go over and see the materials. We're going to want to find this file path over here. So we're going to go over to our up folder. We want to go to game, tf, materials. In this case, models, workshop, player, items, demo. And we're going to go to cc, cosmetic case, out of sight. So there's a bunch of different files here. We want to use basically... Um, we're going to go with this color VTF. That's usually the one you want to go for. Let's just actually take a look at it. Yep, this is the one. So what we want to do is just open this up in GIMP. GIMP is free, by the way, so check that out. It's really nice. And let's talk about fixing materials. So you can see it definitely doesn't look like our VTF when you open it here. That's because there's a layer mask. So what we want to do, first things first, we want to right-click, disable the layer mask. And now we want to edit. Um, you can see all this like black area where it's supposed to be paintable. That's because of the way that TF2 handles uh, painting. So we're going to show the layer mask and we're going to edit it. Uh, press Shift O to select by color and we're going to select any area that's pure black. Then we're going to press Control I to invert that selection. We're going to Control C to copy. We're going to stop editing the layer mask and stop showing the layer mask. So we can just paste this on top. Then we're just going to anchor the layer. So now you can see here that all the areas that were previously black that need to be paintable are now this kind of gray scale. This is great. This is exactly how Source Filmmaker um, sees paintable materials. Now that we've done that, we can actually go um, into show at layer mask, edit layer mask. We still need to uh, get that same selection. So you want to select a pure black and then invert and we're going to press control plus um, period. That's going to change it to white if you're using default settings otherwise you, you can just um, use your bucket tool and fill it with white. Now we're just going to uncheck all of these options and we're going to apply the layer mask so it's just one layer. Then we're going to press control E to export this as a VTF and you can usually put this in your user mod or you can just replace the file outright. Uh, I personally have a folder dedicated to just fixing textures. So we're just going to go and if you're going to do this, you might need to create a new folder. Okay. Alright, and we're just going to export this here. Just going to check all the settings and there we go. Now if we go back to Source Filmmaker, the, uh, the reason why nothing's changed is because, well, we haven't actually done anything inside Source Filmmaker. So there's two ways to reload the materials. One, you can just quit out Source Filmmaker and restart, or you can use co this console command. Just gonna go over here and type in mat, M-A-T, reload all materials. There it is. Gonna press enter and give it a few seconds. To okay, so the command went through, and now if we just kind of move around a little bit, um, you're gonna see that the texture actually did update, and we are good to go. It's orange as it's supposed to be. Let me just get a closer look at that. And it goes all the way around. Pretty nice. It also works for both skins, so we're gonna go with the blue version. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let me go over here. You can see it works for both. Uh, however, if there's another hat, like say any hat that's team colored, if there's a different skin that it needs to use, um, it'll actually just tell you under something along the lines of underscore blue underscore color dot vtf and likes so you'll have to just do it twice so this is how you fix hats that are needed to be painted 
with um, the texture method with VTF files. Sometimes we'll actually have to edit the VMT material files, which is what I'll probably cover in a later video. Uh, just for proof of concept, we're just going to add over at materials again, go over to model, and we're just going to change this around. We're just going to change the color over. Uh, whoops, wrong skin. Alright, we want to go to blue. We're just going to, as you can see, we can change the color to whatever we want. So yeah, pretty nifty, eh? And there you go. Um, hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Um, I, I'm still getting used to the whole recording thing. But yeah, ho hopefully this helped you out. If so, just let me know in the comments. And thank you all for watching.